<clears throat> Peace family. This is Lions Zimmer, another news and commentary. Um, this article is from the New York Times. Shout out to them. Trump's South African tweet seems in, to embrace racist narrative on land dispute. I'm about to get in on this today. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Like so many of President Trump's late night tweets, this one was inspired by a segment on his favorite channel, cable channel, Fox News. But when Mr. Trump announced Wednesday night that he was directing his secretary of state to scrutinize what he said was the target of white farmers for land seizures and large scale killing in South Africa, the president weighed into a complex and politically charged debate. And in, in doing in, and in doing that, he embraced a common talking point among white supremacists who claim white genocide is being perpetrated in South Africa and around the world. The presidential tweet on Wednesday appeared to be a culmination of a lengthy lobbying effort by a right-wing South African group that falsely claims that white farmers are being systematically forced off their land and killed in large numbers. Its leaders traveled to Washington this year to press their case. The debate over land, land ownership has engulfed South Africa, where a proposal to seize land from white farmers has rolled a country still struggling with the F with the effects of apartheid and widespread economic inequality. White residents who make up about 8% of the population own roughly 70% of the private farmland, according to the government figures. And President Cyril Ramphosa announced this month that the African National Congress will move ahead with a proposal to change the constitution and allow the expropriation of some property without compensation. His government has said that the move is necessary to deal with long-standing in inequities. Only unused land will be subject to seize, seizure. It added, suggesting that land that is being actively farmed will be saved. But opponents of the plan, including farm rights groups, who have said that forced e-proportions are, are already happening and that white farmers are being killed in alarming numbers. Mr. Trump... Seemingly endorsed of that narrative drew re rebukes and jubilation on Thursday. Anti-hate organizations called his tweet racist and irresponsible, while the all-right and white supremacists said it was an overdue and courageous recognition by the president of what they call a grave injustice. This is the president of the United States taking up a narrative and an idea that has extremely strong renaissance among white supremacists that with demographic change all over the world, there's an ongoing genocide of white that is getting worse, where minorities are literally trying to wipe out and dis dispossess white people, said Heidi Birish, who monitors hate groups at the Southern Poverty Law Center. Within white supremacy, there's this idea of disp disp um, dispossession and that you are being disposed of your goods. So your opportunities, perhaps your land, Ms. Brick, at it and that point to um south africa to say to fellow white supremacists or people who they set they see as potential recruits and that this is what could happen to us mike perovich a white supremacist who podcast is called the daily schloch called the president's tweets about south africa very big he said on twitter it may seem like a small thing but this is how we slowly chip away at all consuming anti-white discourse. Let's hope this follows with action. Khalid Creole, the, the chief executive of AfriForm, South Africa's main advocacy groups of Afrikaners, said that Mr. Trump's comments have been a huge step forward for his organization. Afrikaners are the white settlers of South Africa, usually of Dutch or Huguenot ancestries. Board is sometimes used as a term for, for Afrikaners, typically in a specific political content. On a tour of the United States this year, Mr. Creel met with representatives of conservative think tanks in Washington, including the Cato Institute and the Heritage Foundation, as well as an aide to Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, and officials at the United States Agency for International Development. During the trip, Ernst Rhodes, the group's deputy chief executive, appeared on Tucker Carlson's Tonight on Fox, a staple of Mr. Trump's cable news diet. In the studio, he and Mr. Creel 
an encounter John R. Bolton, Mr. Trump's national security advisor, and snap a picture with him that Mr. Creel posted on Twitter marveling at the at their luck. He said they had given Mr. Bolton a copy of Kill the Boar, Mr. Root's book that claims the government has been complicit in killing white farmers. It, it, it also argues, according to the official website, that a looming process of ethnic cleansing should be regarded as a serious threat and sometimes to be prevented. On Thursday, the White House did not respond to requests for comment on what had promptly prompted Mr. Trump to tweet about the issue. But the president, <clears throat> excuse me, the president post came after Tucker Carlson's broadcast a segment on his show about the land ownership dispute in South Africa. He reported that land seizures were already on all, already on the well on the way and blasted the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for ensuing what he called an unbelievable statement that called the matter of difficulties. One criticizing Mr. Ramforza's approach, the South African Minister of International Relations. Lazini Sisulu described the tweet as regrettable and based on false information. The government said it will seek clarification from the United States Embassy. The Secretary, excuse me, the State Department also confirmed on Thursday afternoon that the charge deferes there, the top rank, top ranking diplomat in the country, because Mr. Trump had yet to nominate an ambassador to South Africa, had met with its officials in the wake of the president's comments. Harold nodded. Narit, the department's of, department spokeswoman, labored to steer clear of the racial overtones of the president's statement. She said Mr. Trump had discussed the issue of Mr. with Mr. Pompeo and asked the secretary to look closely at the current state of action in South Africa relate to let, relate land reform. Oh boy, the ex the ex ex I'm going to okay. The expropriation of land without compensation. Our position is that the is that that will risk sending South Africa down the wrong path. He said, refusing to say whether the State Department is concerned that it is happening. As whether Mr. Pompeo had corrected Mr. Trump on the state of affairs in South Africa, Ms. Noet said we never get into the private conversation between the secretary and the president. Patrick Gaspar, the United States ambassador to South Africa during the Obama administration, said that. With this tweet, Mr. Trump had walked right smack into some of the most supercharged politics that exist in any other bilateral relationship anywhere around the globe. Here you have President of the United States who is trafficking in white supremacy storyline and talking point that has caused incredible damage in the country, in the, the regions, in the region, and that is easily dispro disproved. He said, "We have seen too many instances." where Trump cabinet officials and his administration have shifted policies based on the latest irresponsible, in that case, reprehensible tweets said, tweet by the president. And so I have, I hope the State Department is, re resists that in the case, Mr. Gaspar added. The number of killing of farmers, including farm workers in South Africa, is at a 20-year low, 47th in the fiscal year, 2017-18, according to research published in a July by AGRSA, a farmer, farmer's organization there that is down from 66 during the previous fiscal year. The figures were consistent with a steady decline of violence sick a peak in 1998 when 153 were killed. But in an interview on Thursday, Mr. Creel claimed that the, number, that the murder of white farmers were underreported and said without evidence that white farmers were three to four times more likely than the average South African to be killed. The AF Forum officials were not the first right-wing South Africans, uh, South Africans to visit the United States. Last year, two members of the white Christian survivalist group called the, the Sutherlanders toured the countries of six months meeting with conservative Christians, organizations, politicians, and doomsday prep, prep, um, preppers and appearing on talk shows such as Infowars, which circulates conspiracy theories. Wow. The trip was, cons um, I mean, the trip was con concerted, strategic, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over. Mm. the trip was a concerted, strategical campaign to raise funds and awareness of the, and support for the ca Caucasian Christian Conservative Vault of South Africa, said Simone Roach, a spokesman, adding 
there's a natural affinity with conservative white Americans. Regarding themselves, the world's largest non-state civil defense force, the Sunni Landers have more than 130,000 members and consider civil war imminence in South Africa. The group has drawn up plans to ev I mean, evacuate whites to remote part of the country and stand and fight and die if that's what necessary, Ms. Rose says. Among the Americans who Sudanlanders met with the, during their trip, Mr. Rose said was David Duke, the former Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Mr. Duke had been vocal in the support of Mr. for Mr. Trump and recirculated the president's tweet on Wednesday night, appending a thank you. Mr. Trump's comments was natural result of our campaign, but to some extent also a snowball effect from our lobbyists, Mr. Rose says. The idea that white faced the possibility of genocide in Africa has gained fresh currency in the United States in the years since the shooting in Charlotte, South Carolina in 2015 carried out by Dylan Roof, a white supremacist who posted a racist manifesto on a website called The Last Ro Rhodesian. It's included photographs of Mr. Roof wearing a jacket bearing patches displaying the green and white flag of Rhodesia, a former white-run colony of Britain now known as Zimbabwe, as well as the South African flag. The shooting appeared to set off a wave of nos I mean, nos nostalgia for Rhodesia in an all-right and white supremacist circle where the notion that white people must wage a violent struggle to beat back on onslaught led by black is pre prevalent. This year, an interview about the pr pro Rhodesian views, far-right social media personalities brought up the plight of white South African farmers repeating the false narrative that their land has been forcibly taken and that they were being murdered in large numbers. They drew a direct line between the fall of Rhodesia and what they believe is happening in South Africa now. On Tuesday, the radio host Michael Savage posted a petition on his website calling on Mr. Trump to give immigration priority to white South African farmers fleeing white confiscation of their land. The white South African, white South African population current faces ethnic cleansing and persecution at the hands of white African National Congress government, the Economic Freedom Fighters Party, and various individuals anti-white aggressors said the petition, which circulated on Stormfront, a white supremacist letter form. I'm going to say it like this, ladies and gentlemen. The South, the black South Africans, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm glad they're getting their land back. They've been stolen from these white, from, from, from the same, from, from Europeans. Stolen. And obviously, Trump putting his two cents in they try to make sure that the whites keep their land. I'm going to tell you like this. Trump can't even control this country. Why do why you want to interfere with South Africa, what they're doing? I'm sorry, people. I'm going to get in on this now. That we, ha we have problems here. You know, bringing racism here. White nationalism is here. For example, you got what's going on last year in Charlottesville. And... You know, he's and then Trump said that the that the white supremacists, the KKK, are good people. This is what he says. And then it's been it's, it, 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 then, 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 then the rallies have been violent on both sides, which means that the counter protest is just as violent as the KKK and the white supremacist groups. And then you have people like our government wants to get involved, which is really a lie. That we killing all the white farmers, white, white South African farmers, to claim their land back, which is also a lie. And obviously what is happening is that we putting our two cents in into something we ain't got nothing to do with. And then all of a sudden, you see why a lot of people are angry. And, all, and, and, all, and I'm glad the South African government has rejected Trump's tweets. They rejected it because they felt like, well, wait a minute. How, in other words, how are you going to tell us what to do with our country and your country is is, 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 is in turmoil right now because of racism there? And yet we want to tell them what to do with, in their country. And by the way, again, there's basically you saying that they've been complaints. Oh, you know, well, they're, they've been killing white South African farmers um, to take their land back. 
and they do have a right to take their land back. I'm talking about blacks. And there's no evidence whatsoever that blacks killing white South, white farmers there. There's no evidence at all. But yeah, you want to bring it. That's what I'm saying. You got all these white um, white supremacist groups in South Africa coming to our country claim, complaining, oh, they killing us people. We they try to take our land. They, they're stealing our land. They did not steal your land. The land's already been been um, for the people for decades. You guys came came to South Africa and stole their land away from them, killing innocent. And then you forgot about apartheid. Remember that? So, you know what we're seeing is that you got a lot of stuff that's going on, and and, and so our government want to get involved in in South Africa. Which they have nothing to do. And I'm going to repeat this for all the, the trolls who are pro-Trump. The, all, for all the white supremacist groups that called me the N-word on the previous video. And I saw the comment. Luckily, my, basically, luckily, my mind erased that comment. What you guys don't understand is that. The, the Europeans, um, the, the, they call it Afrikaners, the, which is mixed with Dutch, which is mixed with Boers, stole, the, stole their land. They didn't buy the land. They stole it. So how are you going to go that? How you call this genocide? I'm going to talk about these white South Africans. How are you going to call the black people killing y'all genocide, which there's no evidence of it? And again, I'm going to tell you this one more time. The, the land has been stolen. You stolen their land. And the South African government now said, guess what? We're taking it back. So at the end of the day, y'all want to bring all the white South Africans to the United States. And you know what? And that's another thing. I thought Trump will not allow any immigration in this country. Well, maybe if, if 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 it's the same color as he is, maybe they will allow these white farmers to come over here. They, the Australians did the same thing. They brought really the, they, the Australians basically bring, quote unquote, all the white farmers that's been attacked, move them all the way to Australia. And maybe Trump probably do the same thing here. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to be real with this. You know, South Africa... During apartheid, killing almost nearly millions and millions of black South Africans there. They killing their leaders, like Nelson. No, I'm gonna refer. They killing like um people like Stephen Biko, make it look like it's a hunger strike. They killing so many leaders during those times. And then where, quote unquote, where is the United States intervention then? When they kill it, oh, but when it comes to, you know, when whites quotely been genocide, that's when Trump want to intervene. I, I obviously it shows, ladies and gentlemen, that we are in the basically showing that they don't care about the black South Africans and why they did what they did. The ANC, the African National Congress, which was, you know, headed by the late great Nelson Mandela. And the EFF, which is Economic Freedom Fighters, um, coming together and let them know. Th first of all, that w I mean, th the white farmers that accused of being genocide, that's, that wasn't their land in the first place. This was our land. We're here to take it back by any means necessary. And so that's what they're trying to do. And obviously, I'm so glad that they're doing that. And it's showing that, you know... Um, black South Africans have had enough. They've been they've been been through a lot during the apartheid um, era. They've been through a whole lot. So what I'm seeing with this tweet, what Trump didn't, shouldn't even put his put in the middle of the situation in South Africa, and got nothing to do with with us. And within as far as the United States, instead of intervening with other countries and what they're doing, why don't you just focus? on what is going on here instead of going out there. I'm just saying. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Junction channel for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lionsden signing off. Deuces.